hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i will show you another important tool for comfy y known by ltx video which was released by lightrix this model allows you to create video from text or images so if you want to obtain results like this one make sure to follow my all-in-one custom workflow and without further ado let's dive into tutorial okay if you head over to the hugging face link you can clearly see the presentation of this model and here we have the results that can be generated using this uh, text video model as you can see it is very realistic and it looks impressive here we have a series of examples with the, the prompt and if you take closer look at this prompt you can see that it is very long and detailed prompt so you're gonna need some text prompt engineering uh, tips now let me first show you my workflow here it is uh, an all-in-one workflow that allows you not only to create video from text but also you you can upload an image then the model and the workflow will generate the video like this one for you automatically so you can create video without doing anything special but first let me give you a quick overview let's start with this text to video part here we have our load clip loader where we're gonna need this t5xxl and uh, here you can see that uh, the type is selected to ltx video and here i have the default uh, text uh, prompt that was included in their workflow then i have my load checkpoint where i'm gonna load my model here let's forget about this for now here we have our conditioning for this ltx video where you can select the frame rate and here we have our latent video you can clearly see that the width and height is uh, plugged uh, to this resolution i did not try to change it but uh, since it uh, it will consume a lot of vram we have also the length but uh, if you try to increase the, the resolution of the final video the result might not be uh, as much consistent here we have our sampler our ltx scheduler where we have the steps the max and base shift i did not uh, try to play with those parameters at the exception of the steps by default you, you will see that the value is plugged to 15 but i found out that uh, value of 100 give us the best results then here we have our sampler custom notes where we can see our noise here the control after generate is set to randomize and the cfg scale make sure to set it to 5 it also gives you better results then we will have our VAE decode and our video combine notes. Let me play this for you. Assume. As you can see, it only creates short animation of four seconds in short amount of time. I was uh, able to generate this video with the average time of between five and six minutes on my RTX uh, 3060 with six gigabyte of VRAM so to increase more uh, the frame rate i add this rife notes which allows you to do some frame interpolation and you can see the results here it can also increase the duration of the video to eight uh, seconds so if you want to uh, use this tool you can uh, activate this node or bypass it then for the image to video i add the uh, two main groups first uh, the first one is the auto prompt generating using the florence model I think you are pretty familiar with these notes now since it was released in long time now. This uh, Florence to run allows you to generate prompt based on the image. As you can see, this image is plugged directly here. We have our Florence to base model. And here I have this my text prompt. Since this model uh, is really based on text prompting, so you're gonna need a very detailed prompt. Okay, let's activate this one. So if you wanna switch between text to video or image to video all you have to do is for example plug the positive here bypass this ltx video image to video then like that you, you're gonna create a video based on this text prompt but if you want to create an image to video make sure to plug this clip text over here enable these notes and here you can clearly see that we have the VAE decode from this LTX video model, the positive and the negative, and the image that was uploaded here. 
and for this image i did some i add some group in order for you to prepare the image since uh, there are a different type of image for example those vertical images gonna need some image cropping in order for you to get the best results and this can, uh, must be done using this image crop tool where you can preview your image here and this can be done with this image crop tool where you can preview your image here we have uh, make sure to stick to this resolution in order to obtain good results the position i placed on the top center but you can change it if you want then i played with this uh, y offset in order to obtain the best results you can try to increase or decrease it it's gonna crop the image vertically based on this uh, uh, on this y offset if for example i change this to zero it's gonna crop my image more on the on the upper uh, side of this image but i found that a value between 15 and 100 give me the best results for all the type of images that i tried for an image that has a resolution of 1024 by 1024 you can bypass this group by using the right click and set the group to never it will generate uh, the image directly using uh, that image but for vertical images make sure to use the tools in order to obtain good results okay now i will show you how you can install the necessary notes and also download the, the model for uh, for this ltx video okay if you are using my model you will find this notes here where you can see the link for the model for the text encoder and the ltx video notes let's start by the necessary notes go to comfy y manager custom notes and search for LTX. Here you can find these notes by the Lightrix group and uh, just click install. After that, you will need uh, the Florence note if you don't have it. Here you can find this uh, Comfy Y Florence 2 by Kijai. Make sure to install it. Then you also need to install the video suit. Yeah, it is here. Video helper suit. Make sure to install it. If you have it, make sure to up uh, update it. Once it is done, update your Comfy Y and restart everything. Once it is restarted, you will be able to see all the red notes for the model. You can use this Hugging Face link. Go to File and Version. And here you can find this LTX video model. It is weighted 9 GB. There are other models that was released for low VRAM usage. But uh, I did not try it since I was afraid uh, of losing the quality of the final video. This model worked perfectly for me even with my low graphic cards. Once it is downloaded, go to model, go to checkpoint and paste your model here. For the text encoder, you can use this link. You can download this T5XXL FP8 which was released about two months ago. Or you can also use this FP16 model. For my case, I only used this FP8 model, which was released uh, four months ago. It works fine with this model too. Once it is downloaded, go to model, search for clip and paste your uh, model here. Okay, now restart your Comfy UI and you should be able to use this workflow more properly. Okay, now I will give you my verdict about this uh, model. I think it is a very good model that allows you to create uh, video from text or images. The results is very impressive for now. I am pretty sure that we will have an another models or an uh, other updates. But for now, you can su successfully create a good video with consistent results. Sometimes it for it failed to create a video from images, and sometimes in when you are using the text video, it creates some uh, distortion and noise, which are uh, not quite good. But uh, in in most of cases, it uh, creates a very good uh, video. The, uh, the only drawback is the, uh, the amount of uh, time for the created video which are only 4 seconds and the main advantage of uh, using this model is the speed it can create uh, those video in a short amount of time for my case I created uh, practically all my video in average time between 4 and 6 minutes which is quite impressive uh, for my type of graphic card and uh, my low VRAM so i strongly recommend you to use this model if you want to create some video or or you if you want to create some story based on ai it will help you very well
okay that's it for uh, today's tutorial if you like this video please uh, push the like button for me subscribe to my channel and leave me some comments down below and tell me what you think about this uh, ltx video model thank you